What's up? Yesterday, I, when we went and picked up the table, uh, shot a quick video talking, rambling about it. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, feel free to uh, clicky clicky right here and uh, check it out. If not, no worries. Um, I'm sure you'll survive. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, I guess I'll just try to explain how we got here to this point in as little words as possible. So, let's begin. Um, yeah, so the dovetails were machined off. Got a, call it a bridge port, J-head uh, in the other room. And the atoms were machined for the rails and those were installed. And then you end up with a you know, table that's got linear rails, but the top is still uh, you know, looking like a Pringle. Um, not entirely sure um, if the table you know, came from China, you know, not flat, that's highly likely. Um, but it could also be from, uh, you know, like releasing like uneven stresses in the cast iron, you know, from machining because there was, you know, machining done on this. So that's a possibility too. I don't know if anyone's ever taken a piece of a hot rolled and put it in a milling machine and taken a couple hundred thousands off of one side and, uh, and pulled it out and looked at it and I bet you it'll look like a banana and uh, it's like the stress is you know cutting off the crust on the outside of only one side you know the other side still got all that tension and crust there and tends to pull things around so basically what you're up against you know it's alive man it's freaking alive so yeah, and uh, I'll, sh I'll do my best to explain on how I think it was ground. I wasn't there, but um, the, the dude that did it um, sort of explained it. So let's do that. All right, coming in for a close-up. So I got the table sitting on um, the one, two, three blocks. They're the, they're the same size, I promise. Um, so yeah, this was how it was ground. So remember that we... Uh, Started with cutting off the rails, so the rails were our new, uh, our, our new zero, if you will. So um, the grinder that this was ground on is, you know, ginormous. The chuck is like, you know, four and a half feet long, and I don't know, however wide. And um, so the the chuck is a little, uh, we'll call it frosty. It's a lot of work to grind in a new chuck or a big chuck like that. Um, so I think what he did was uh, he pointed it so. They have uh, sets of points that they put on the mag chuck and uh, just four, so one, two, three, four, or three, I'm not sure what he did. I did four because um, we were going with the rails were flat. So uh, yeah, you put the four points down and then uh, you grind those four points. So instead of having to grind the whole chuck, you can just grind the four points and then you know, you, you know you're flat. So that's what was done and uh, it's not held down with anything. Um, they just take uh, one, two, three blocks or two, four, six blocks and uh, just crowd either end of the table because if you were to put the uh, the whole table onto the, the chuck um, and turn it on, you know, it's a ginormous magnet and you want to grind the table, you know, flat to itself or flat to the, the points and not, you know, pull the, uh, you know, any distortion into the table, so. I think that's how it worked. I could be completely out to lunch, but um, we're gonna go with it eh, until uh, until I need to eat crow. So, uh, yeah. All right, now that you're starting to get bored, let's look at some numbers.
So there you have it. Um, from pretzel to hero in uh, 30 days, 60 days. So yeah, pretty happy with it. It, uh, it turned out, I think it turned out nice. And uh, I'm not sure, you know, what more I could hope for. I mean, I felt comfortable uh, saying across, I'll call that table 26 inches, uh, 25 inches, not all workable, but uh, over that distance, I got a thousandth of an inch, you know, deviation. And I think that is, uh, that's excellent for, uh, for a little machine like that. And I think it's gonna be sweet. So yeah, and the, uh, the indicator, it's a little uh, Mitotoyo half thou. Uh, I got a tenths indicator in the machine shop and uh, I'm not even gonna get it out because uh, I mean, it'd be silly. You'd be, uh, it's just, you know, you gotta remember, uh, remember what we're doing here. And uh, I think a thousandths is just fine. So get some. Video would not be complete with a little shenanigans. What, what? Come at me, homie. Off top. You know what's good? It's all about the deets, baby. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. This, uh, this is like sort of a, a pro tip. If you, uh, if you're ever building a machine, and uh, you're using uh, grandfather's uh, plumbing parts and you uh, don't want to make it look like grandfather's plumbing parts uh, just get a file and some sandpaper and file off and sand off all of the carlon uh, insignia and barcodes and uh, proceed to paint with your uh, favorite plastic paint Krylon. And uh, don't forget uh, your old ball peen hammer for uh, something to hold on to so you don't get the fingerprints. Okay, uh, thanks for watching.